Why did I get this destroyer replica from AliExpress? Yeah, dude, why? Hey guys, the Bald Shredder here. And Metal Dude, the Not Bald Shredder. That's not your name. Yeah, it is. Metal Dude's my name. No, I mean the Not Bald part is not your name. Oh yeah, you're right, it isn't. Okay. Okay. I got this guitar from AliExpress about two years ago, and I can honestly say I still love it. But today, I want to give the backstory on why I had to have this guitar. Let's go back to 1983. An extremely significant event happened that year that would change my life forever. The release of Def Leppard's Pyromania. The first single, Photograph, was all over rock radio and MTV. To a young, impressionable lad such as myself, it was pure hard rock heaven. I was mesmerized by the slick sounds and flashy visuals. It was at that moment that I knew what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. Play guitar in your bedroom and make videos that no one cares about? Yeah, something like that. So prior to the release of Pyromania, I had already begun my journey with the electric guitar. I had a neighbor named David that lived on my street. He was a few years older than me and he played the electric guitar. I would go over to his house and he would play me some of his latest rock records. Bands like Foreigner, REO Speedwagon, and tons of other bands from the early 80s. And of course, he had his guitar there, and I thought that was the coolest thing, and I just had to have one. So before Christmas of 1982, I started begging my parents to get me a guitar for Christmas. I found a guitar and an amp in the J.C. Penney catalog for just $99. It was a harmony. So Christmas morning arrives, and there's a big box under the tree, and BAM! I've got my first electric guitar. I can say, without a doubt, that was the greatest present I've ever received. Probably the worst playing and worst sounding guitar I've ever owned, but to me, it was the greatest thing ever! And then, the very next month, January of 1983, Pyromania is released. Photograph! Rock of Ages! f f f foolin Wow! My desire to learn the guitar just got supercharged, big time! So here I am, just barely learning to play the guitar, trying to figure out the opening riff to photograph, and literally drooling over the images of Phil playing his majestic black and white three pickup Ibanez Destroyer with the Kaler Bridge. I wanted that guitar so bad! Well, it was two years later when my dad finally agreed to get me a new guitar, which would be a major upgrade from my Harmony from the JCPenney catalog. During those two years, nothing had changed in my mind. I still wanted an Ibanez Destroyer exactly like Phil's. And due to the massive success of Pyromania and the popularity of that guitar, Ibanez actually made two models of that guitar for sale. One was a cheaper bolt-on neck version with a cheap Strat style bridge. And the other one was a nicer set neck version with a better bridge, but still not a real Kaler bridge. So, knowing that these guitars did not come with a Kaler on it, I was determined to get one and then have a Kaler installed on it. The plan was to go to a music store in Sacramento and then on to some more music stores in San Francisco in search of the Destroyer. I grew up in kind of a small town in Central California. Yeah, we had a few music stores, but nothing major and the selection was not very good. So we hit the road. First stop, Skip's Music in Sacramento. We walk in and guess what? No Ibanez Destroyers! But what they did have was something that was just as intriguing to my young eyes. A candy apple red Hamer Scarab II with a Kaler bridge. The sales guy takes it off the wall, hands it to me, and after a few seconds, I was sold! That was the guitar I wanted, and I didn't have to convince my dad. 
He was just happy that he didn't have to go to San Francisco after that. That guitar would be my main axe for the next few years. I loved it and played it constantly. And my dream of owning a Phil Collin Ibanez Destroyer just kind of moved to the back of my mind. Forgotten, temporarily, but not completely gone. Fast forward more than 30 years later. It's now the year 2019, and I decide to give the website AliExpress a try by ordering a cheap Strat copy. I'd read and heard all the horror stories about how terrible the guitars were, but to my surprise, that wasn't the case at all. The guitar was pretty good. After successfully ordering and receiving the Strat, I thought, hey, why not ask one of these guys to make me my dream guitar? The Phil Collin Destroyer! I'd already searched for it on their website and couldn't find it, so it would have to be a custom order. I messaged a few guys and got some quotes and then finally decided on one seller. And the price was super reasonable, under $300. And if you're curious about how to place an order on AliExpress for a guitar and you want to know the exact process that I went through, then you should definitely watch this video that I made that tells you exactly what I did to order my guitars. It's a great starting point for anyone who's considering buying a guitar from AliExpress. The link is in the description. And before anybody leaves a comment on this video, I know this guitar does not have a Kaler bridge. Obviously. Kaler is not a big time bridge anymore. They haven't been for a long time. So these guitar makers over there in China, they don't have Kaler bridges to put on the guitars. And I definitely did not want a Floyd Rose style bridge on the guitar because I don't like Floyd Rose style bridges. So I just asked him to put a Les Paul style bridge on there. And that's what he did. And yeah, I could buy a Kaler now and have somebody install it for me here, but that would literally double the cost of the guitar. And I'm perfectly happy with the way it is anyway. Okay, so fast forward a few months and the guitar arrives on my doorstep. I was thrilled beyond belief. My childhood dream was finally fulfilled. I had a guitar that looked almost exactly like the one my hero, Phil Collin, from Def Leppard had back in 1983. Awesome. And for all you purists saying, what is this? I'm gonna have to leave a comment. No, you don't. It's fake. It's not a real Ibanez. Dream not fulfilled. Throw it in the trash. L-O-L. <laughs> Hey mom, is that meatloaf ready yet? Wrong! Except for the part about it not being a real Ibanez. That's true. But honestly, I don't care. And if you do, okay, great. But in 2019, the only way to get a real one of these would have meant buying a decades old guitar that was pretty beat up and extremely overpriced. No thanks. And quite frankly, if you are totally against the idea of buying guitars from AliExpress that are made in China, why are you even watching this video in the first place? But no matter how great I say this guitar is, there's one thing for sure. Haters gonna hate. Yep. But to everyone else, let me just say, this guitar is awesome and I love it. And to demonstrate the sheer awesomeness of this guitar, I'm gonna leave you with my cover of Phil's solo to photograph. I recorded all the guitar parts in this with this guitar, including the backing track and the solo. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video!